Hiya folks, here we are with another dish. What are we gonna do this one in, Sharon? We're doing meatballs in pasta sauce. Right. With something special inside. A little twist maybe. Twist up. Little surprise. Right, well we've got some ingredients. Sharon found some meatballs for, which were reduced, already made. Um, I know you can make your own up, but these were just in a packet. And I think there was about £2.25. Something it, like it? that, yeah. Only cheap for 12 meatballs. But um, rather than just put them in and just put a pasta sauce over them with um, a tomato we're making sauce. A, a quick, it's going to be a quick tea as well. Yeah, it's a quick one to do. We're going to start it off in the saucepan. And then they're going to change it over, put it in a glass bowl, which we've got here. A glass bowl. This is an eight-inch square one, depending on what air fry you've got, will depend obviously. And it's what, a Pyrex as what well. What bowls you put it in, and uh, we're going to be putting that in our air fry just to finish off to make sort of a pasta bake. But as I say, the meatballs are going to have a little twist to them. Let's have a look at the ingredients. Here are the ingredients to our stuffed meatballs pasta bake: 250 grams of rigatoni pasta, 350 grams of meatballs, one tin of chopped tomatoes. 1. 190 gram jar of red pesto, 1 tablespoon of tomato puree, 1 mozzarella ball, 12 cubes of cheese of your choice, 2 cloves of garlic, 1 tablespoon of mixed herbs, 1 bell pepper, 1 medium onion. Right, so we've got our little induction hob out here, folks. The uh, All the stuff we use there is... Links in the description for the in... items that we're using. That's what I meant to say, Shell. <laughs> so we've got our two saucepans here. One of them we've just put some water, about a quarter full in there, and uh, we're going to be cooking the pasta in this one. And Sharon always, as she's always done, is put a drop of olive oil in there. Or any now, oil. That is going to be very controversial, Sharon, because we've had so many people say, oh, it doesn't do nothing, chefs don't do it. I've seen TV chefs do it. Well, actually, I was watching one today, and she said it about it there as well. There you go. And other people say, oh, no, it just floats on top of the water. And anyway, loads of bits. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. No, we it's do up it. To you. We always have done it. So that's going in there like that. We're going to bring that to the boil first, and then we're going to put the pasta in. This one, we're going to start incorporating the ingredients. Yep. There's all your garlic, onions, bell pepper, and uh, also your, your Italian seasoning as well, folks. Now, again, we're using this stuff because we had this in the fridge, Sharon, didn't we? In the cupboard. Yeah. No, the and pepper, the, the pepper. Oh, yeah, yeah. It doesn't have to be an orange pepper. And it, it, it bumps your meal up, you know, gives it a bit more. Out, yeah, baby. Bulk, bulk, that's the word. So we're just going to start cooking that well, off. We need the tomatoes. So just to minute. start sweating it off. Now, again, we've got uh, tomatoes with herbs, and again, because we had them in the cupboard. If you haven't got chopped tomatoes, you can obviously use plum tomatoes as well, and just chop yep. them up in the pan, so it doesn't really matter. These probably are going to be quite tasty, these, because they've got the herbs in them, haven't mm. they, as well? Yeah. Right, so they're just starting to steam up a little bit now, so I'm just going to undo these chopped tomatoes. These even smell good like this. I know, smell that little bit of herbs in. Yeah, you can smell it, yeah. So we'll just drop the whole can in there. That is a, I think it's a 330 milliliter 400. can. 400. 400 gram can, folks. Just whack it in. No measuring here. You, you people know when you cook for your family, drop it in, you, you all yeah. know. So now we've got some uh, tomato puree. This is mostly for colour. I don't actually find, Sharon, that tomato puree has actually got much flavour, has it? I've never actually tried it like that. Well, have a go what? now, baby. No, thank you. Go on, I'll have a go. You can have a go for me. Let's just put that on there like that. It's a bit of a heaped one, that Sharon, but uh, let's have a little go. That's fine, that's fine. Hold on, let's have a little taste. Oh no, you know what it tastes like? Sun-dried tomatoes. Oh, does it? Yeah. I mean, whenever I've sent to put it in stuff, it, it doesn't really sort of taste, you can't really taste it. But like that, if you spread that, I'll tell you what, if you spread that on a pizza base... Well, that's what they put on pizza bases, isn't it? Wow, well, do they really? Well, if you're hoping making one at home, you would. Right, so that's in there like that. I'm getting involved, folks, as you can see, for a change. Yeah. Not just doing all the yapping. Right, this I is... I love this stuff. This is reduced fat red pesto. I don't well, know what the I difference is. Well, I usually get red pesto. I've picked the wrong one up. This is a... Uh, how many grams in there? 190. 190 gram tub in there. Information. And did you know, folks, like... Well, I think a lot of people might know this. Can you hear that? That little clicking noise. Put your mic. Hold on. There you go. That happens. If, if you pick a can up... Uh, sorry, if you pick a jar up in a supermarket, and you can hear that noise, that means it's been opened. So don't buy one that's making that clicking noise on the top there. That means someone's opened it. 
When you press down on a brand new one, you can't press down. There's a little dimple in the top there. You can't press it down. That's what you want when you buy one of them. Anyway, bit of nonsense there, shall we? Yeah. Right, we're going to put the old gonna, jar in. It's not going to fit in there, that's cool. I know that. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Shall look. I'll just turn it around. I put the whole jar in. Some people just put a bit in. This but, is full of flavour. Yeah, this has got lovely flavour. If and in I, doubt, I like the green pesto as well. Doubt, you put spin in. the spoon around. Yeah. It's like your own concoctions you're making. Yeah. Now, I love dinners like this where you just put in this and that. What about that? the other? Bit the other. <laughs> right, let's get that out. Is it worth me putting a drop of water in there just to get that last bit out? Yeah, just a little sure, drop of water. Yeah, because yeah, I don't mind having a bit of water in here actually. But oh. this smells lovely already. And it looks good like that. I mean, you could just pour the pasta into I'll, this I'll show them in a minute, and sure. have it like that. Yeah, I'll just give it a little bit of a shake, look, just to clean that. Uh, all that juice is out of there. Right, that's that. Keep that there. Oh, look at that. And that's a lovely sauce already, Sharon. Yeah, as I said, you can just mix that in with pasta now. Now, we're going to be putting the balls in there, aren't we? Yeah. But we're not putting the balls straight in there. You're going to be doing something very yeah. special with and them. And I'm not browning them off because I'm a bit worried what will happen. Yeah. So we're putting them in like that and leaving them to yeah. cook in the sauce. So these are going to be cooking twice, really. Once yeah. in the sauce, and then we're going to be putting it in the, the serving dish over there, as you saw. And then we're going to put put it in the air fryer yeah. to finish cooking. So already this pasta is nearly boiling. Look, this pasta water. So I think we can go in now with our 250 grams of uh, pasta there. We're using rigatoni only because it's the tube ones. And it's what I've got left. And it's all we've got in the cupboard. Plus, it also holds the uh, sauce of the pasta as well in the little tubes as well, shall we? Yeah. Right. Okay, so we're just going to bring this to a boil. Let it simmer. Bring the pasta to a boil. And now we're going to dig out our um, meatballs and show you what we're going to do with them. Right, so we just moved our little stove over to the side. Now, these are the meatballs we bought, folks. They are pre-rolled. They are from a supermarket, I know. And all we've got here is our... We're using cheddar cheese here, extra mature. And Sharon's just cut them in half. And then she's going to mould them back together into a new ball. Do it, make, make sure they are well sealed together because you don't want them bursting open. So, as you can see, she's already done three. So, yeah, that's one of the reasons why I didn't pre cook them. Yeah, we don't want them bursting open, that's why we haven't pre cooked them. They're going to cook in the uh, hot pasta sauce and also in the air fryer as well. So, it's the cheese of your flavour in what you really like. Yeah, we're going for, uh, as I say, a We've strong got mature cheddar. cheddar. And if it does crumble like it does, this cheese can crumble a bit, just squeeze it together and make your ball. That's the only thing with the uh, cheddar, the, the extra mature, it does crumble when you cut it, but you can mould it together like that, folks. So we're gonna do all 12 of these, or Sharon's gonna do them, and then we'll come back to you. As if by magic, shall? Yeah. Right, okay, we put the lid on the pasta, folks, just to help the cooking time now. Just keep the heat and makes them cook quicker. Well, Sharon's done them now. 12 lovely meatballs there, and they're just gonna be dropped into the, um, do you call it a sauce, shall we? It is a sauce. So like a, is it a ragu? Would they call that a ragu? No? I suppose so. Can do, wouldn't you? Call it what you like, shall Yeah. Mama sauce. Mama sauce. Mama Sharon sauce. Yeah. So we're just going to plop them in there. And we'll also put a lid on that as well. Look, look. Put a lid on. I'm steaming up, people. <laughs> I can't actually see. Well, you're putting your head right over, aren't you? No, the steam is blowing my way. Of course it is. Ooh. So I'm just drop them in, but don't forget folks, don't push them about too much, you don't want them to burst open, you just want to coat them all. And we'll leave them sitting there. I'll get a saucepan lid for you, shall? Yeah. <coughs> oh, there we go, look. There's our new baskets, which uh, one of our subscribers bought for us, folks. Look at that, look. We segregate everything now, look at that, look. They're lovely. So we're going to keep that on low, shall? We should hurry up, because I'll keep steaming. Of course you do. There we go. So they're blipping away there. Let's have a little look at the pasta. Give that a little stir. Yeah, that's fine. Looking fine, shall isn't it? Yeah. I don't want to steam the camera up, shall No, oh, that might be getting steamed that's up. That's swelled up and all, shall isn't it? Oh, yeah, we like things to swell up. Ooh. Oh! Oh, my God! Oh, Vegetastic Mum's just popped in. Look. Really? Come in, Vegetastic Mum. What I can hear is it's getting steamy and something's swelling up. It's an innuendo. <laughs> <laughs> How rude! Everyone don't know Vegetastic Mum, she's a... Uh, got her own channel she's got some lovely food do check her out i will leave a link in the description below and uh fancy seeing nice. you can you smell that it smells good it does smell good yeah. anyway let's wait till this cooks a bit more and then we'll segregate it put it in the bowl hey sharon 
Oh yes. And then cover it with uh, mozzarella cheese, salt and pepper, whack it in the air fryer. Yum yum. Oh, yum yum. Right, okay folks, it's been about 15 minutes. This has been blipping along nicely now. We have been turning that over, Sharon, haven't we? Very gently yeah. with the spatula, just like what Sharon's doing now, without damaging the balls at all, Sharon. Trying to keep the balls intact. Of course you are. So that's what we've done. So that's cooked now. Yep. So I've already drained the pasta and Sharon's just going to get the pasta now, literally just place it into our bowl, our cooking pot rather, and just slowly, just incorporate it, folks. Don't uh, try and break that then balls open, so just literally fold it in. Tease it in there, shall I say that swells up quite a lot, that pasta, folks. Look at that, look. Look how thick that's gone, look. And all that lovely juice will go in that tube there, look. I'll tell you what, I'm not gonna put that one back in because someone, someone will kick off, Sharon, if I put that in, because I've held it. Sharon's pushing that sauce all the way through that, uh, holes in that pasta now. Absolutely fantastic. And Chow, how many are you gonna be out of feed with this? Well, I'm doing it for free, but I think I can get four easy. Yeah. And you have it with a bit of garlic bread. And the balls, shower are that big now, aren't they? Where well, they were small before, they're that they've big. They've expanded. So if there's four people, eh? Hey? 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 Where are you going? I'm going to step in here for a Of course you are, off you go. Off you go, Vegetastic Mum. She can't handle the meat hey, talk, can she? <laughs> she can't handle the meat she talk. She can't handle the meat talk being Vegetastic, yeah. Uh. So there you go, folks. Look at that. That looks absolutely superb now. And all Sharon's going to do now is now transfer it. Oh, it's heavy. Into our bowl. Look at them balls, Sharon. Look at them. Amazing oh, balls. Oh, fantastic. There's 12 in there. So three big balls per person if you're going to do it for four people, Sharon. Yeah. If not, a great portion you'll have for, for three people. And if you're a greedy pig like me, I'd have half of that, Sharon. Well, yeah, you would. Anyway, so there it goes. Fits in that eight inch square. Just perfect, bowl actually. Perfectly. And that fits absolutely lovely, folks, into our Kasori Jewel Blaze as well. So, again, just about, just, just knowing what size bowls you normally cook with, isn't it? If you've got a bit extra, put it in a smaller bowl. Of course you can. You can always do a little bowl, can't you? No, I've got, oh, I've got drain the mozzarella. Oh, I'll do it over here into it. Of course you can. Do it in that bowl, yeah? Otherwise, I'll have to get involved again, don't I? So, this is mozzarella, folks. Those of you who've never cooked with it before. We're just going to open it up and tip that fluid away. You don't want that. Another big bowl. <laughs> look at that, look. What a lovely looking piece of thing. Not much flavour to these though, to be honest with you. But uh, it just adds that stringy consistency yeah, shell, doesn't it? When you pull it off. And also, just tear it. Yeah, don't bother cutting it, just tear and it, it drop it on. It goes a lot further as well. Yeah, just drop it on, look. Little bits like that. And that will just enhance, Sharon, that pasta dish. Mm. What you could also do, Sharon, if we had it, we haven't got none, otherwise we probably would do it, some parmesan over the top as well. Yeah. Or you could even grate some normal cheddar and put it on the top as well. Should we do that? Well, we can't go check the cheddar-tastic. <laughs> cheddar-tastic. I'm going to get some out, Sharon. Right, that looks absolutely superb, folks. I'm just going to get some, uh, some more of this mature cheddar. Again, if you don't like mature cheddar and you want a finer one, or a red Leicester, entirely up to you. You put on what you like. This is our little uh, bowl for grating. It's got a non-slip surface on it. So we're just going to grate some of that and It's got there. a different lid as well for finer grating yeah, you can as well, this finer, one. Yeah, uh, finer holes in it. We've got two lids for this, as I say, but uh, no, I think that'll probably be about enough, shall I? There we go. You don't need too much. Just that this is going to crisp up as well. So this is purely, Sharon, for a bit of added decadence, isn't it? Yeah. Look at that. What a super looking thing, look. And that mozzarella, as I said to you, although there's not much flavour to it, it will add that lovely stringy consistency, shall, when you uh, go to pick your fork through it or put your knife through it or whatever, wouldn't it? And once again, it's a quick, easy, simple meal. Yeah, this has taken no time whatsoever, folks. And filling. And we're just going to finish off with some um, black pepper, put plenty on. Season that top crust, so to speak. And also some, uh, we use the Himalayan pink salt. And there you go, all ready to go in the air fryer, folks. Look at that. How good does that look? Oh, that tray's in the air fryer. Right, so this is our Kasuri Dual Blaze tray. Sharon's just going to put that in there. And I'll reach it over for you. Whack it in there. Quite a weight, that, folks. There you go. Right, so let's turn it on. Let's keep it on 180 degrees centigrade. And we're just going to put that on for 11 minutes, folks. And we'll come back and see you then. 
Okay, folks, it's just pinged off and I've just turned it off. Let's have a little look. Oh, look at that little baby sizzling. Look at that, Sharon. Yummy, wow. yummy. Wow, let's check whether or not the uh, the balls are done. That's what we're more interested in. They want to be above 75 degrees, folks. Let's push that into the center of the balls. Oh, look at that, yeah, we've got a few more there. Let's have a go over that one there. Get into there. Yeah, look at that, 79, 80 degrees on that one. There's another one there, folks. Yeah, we've got to go along with that. Happy days, folks. Let's get them out. So Sharon's just gonna take these out. We have got these silicone gloves, folks. You do have to be a bit careful, because this is red. You could actually leave it in there, but um, Sharon's just gonna work it out as she does there now, look at that. Oh, let's have a closer look at that, folks. Well, Sharon, that looks absolutely superb. Let's get you in there, folks. So you're gonna cut it, cut it open now. Oh, look at that. Look at that hot steam coming out of there, Sharon. Look at that. It smells good. Look at, oh, Sha oh, look. Look at that. Can you see that stringy cheese, folks? Look. There's a meatball, look at that, look. Oh, God, I'll tell you what would be good with that, Sharon. Some Sorry. garlic bread, wouldn't That's it? That's what I'm doing for him. Oh, you got that? Well done, baby. And that sauce looks absolutely superb. Absolutely wonderful. Right, could Chow do us a favor? Get one of those, get a knife, and let's cut one of them meatballs open. Let's just have a little look inside. See if it's worked and held the uh, actual cheese in there. There you go. So just cut that one, there's one there, go on. Oh, there it is, folks, look at that. Look, it's still in there, there's a little pocket, look. That is your little treat, Sharon, isn't it? I'm gonna try it, actually. Of course you are, go on. That looks superb. Oh my God, that cheddar is so good in there because it's such a strong one. It is one, a strong one, shall mm. it? I'm coming round as well, baby. You having that half? I'll have that half. Mm. <sighs> Can I just say something, people? Go I on. can't take credit for the cheese in the meatballs. It was Tracy Clifford's idea. So thank uh, you, our daughter. daughter. She's done that, and yeah. And it's very good, it's what she does. Let's have a little go, shall we? I tell you what, them, them herbs and spices make such a big difference. Mm. Gives it that Latin feel, Sharon. I feel like maracas, maybe maracas are coming out too. Oh yeah. What what you said about that strong mm. mature cheddar. But makes have, all the difference. Uh, what about a uh, cheese with some chilies in? Let's go and get God. A, let's go and get a fork shell, I've got to taste that sauce. Oh, that crusty cheese on top. That pasta shell with a bit of bite. Look at that, look. Oh, God. You've been lying, saying that oh, go away. look at all that. Full metal jacket, shall yeah? Everything on there. And it is hot. By yourself, and all the, all the uh, sauce has gone in them little tubes, shall yeah? Like you have no Lovely. options. I take your options. Now I'm not the problem. Man, that's on you, yeah. Mmm. That, my friend. Is a taste sensation. Is a taste sensation. Winner, winner, not chicken dinner. <laughs> Simple. And tasty. And also filling as well. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that one. That is a, probably a budget meal as well, Sharon, isn't it? Yeah. So we'll put that in our budget playlist. <laughs> I've got this baby Frank. Oh, yeah, so. baby Frank. I'm not well at the moment again, folks. I've got that bloody cough again and that baby Frank's got it as well. It's sort of gone and come back again. But uh, we've got a muddle on, <laughs> haven't we? Yes, I've got to go off to Benidorm <laughs> and struggle, people. Yeah. Don't forget to watch our vlogs in Benidorm, folks. Uh, all next week we'll be vlogging daily, hopefully, from Benidorm. Benidorm. Oh, mind you. My heel is just still hurting me a little bit, but... Um, it's not mentioned that much. We're going to be doing quite a bit of walking out there, so I uh, hope you come along with the joiners and watch our vlogs every day, just to see what we get up, with, up to. Failing that, have a little binge watch of our other vlogs, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and set your preferences to all. That way, you'll get a little ping on your phone uh, when we upload <laughs> when we upload the video, Sharon. Thanks very much, folks. We'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye for now. He won't be able to eat all that baby, Frank. Sharon, they give it a good go, my Frankie.